Could our efforts to clean up shipping pollution inadvertently fuel global warming, a conundrum that has scientists across the globe scratching their heads? Welcome to this comprehensive report where we delve into the perplexing relationship between shipping pollution and global warming. The cargo ships that crisscross our oceans, transporting goods from one corner of the globe to another, are a significant source of air pollution. These vessels emit sulfur dioxide particles that, when interacting with water vapor in the atmosphere, create reflective clouds. These clouds, akin to a giant parasol, reflect the sun's energy back into space, helping to cool our planet. However, as beneficial as this cooling effect might be, these sulfur emissions contribute significantly to air pollution, leading to numerous health issues and premature deaths. In the year 2020, the International Maritime Organization, or IMO, took a significant step towards reducing this pollution. They implemented a regulation to reduce the sulfur content in ships' fuel. This move led to an estimated 30,000 fewer premature deaths per year, a substantial victory for public health. But here's the twist. Scientists are now suggesting that this reduction in pollution may inadvertently be fueling global warming. By reducing the sulfur emissions from ships, we are decreasing the cooling impact of the reflective clouds. Some experts argue that this could lead to catastrophic levels of warming. While the reduction in shipping pollution is expected to have a small warming influence, the uncertain effect on clouds could potentially amplify this impact. Although the decline in shipping pollution may not have been a major factor in the record-breaking heat of 2023, it could have had a regional impact. This presents us with a delicate balancing act. On one hand, reducing air pollution is vital for our health and the health of our planet. But uh, on the other hand, we need to be mindful of the potential warming effects this could have on our climate. In summary, the key to tackling this complex issue lies in a balanced approach. Reducing pollution and carbon emissions must go hand in hand to avoid exacerbating global warming. Immediate action to reduce emissions can both slow down global warming and improve air quality. This is a classic case of every action having an equal and opposite reaction. As we forge ahead in our fight against pollution and global warming, we must remain vigilant of the potential repercussions of our actions. The path to a cleaner, greener future is not without its challenges, but with careful planning and a balanced approach, we can overcome them.